What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, I literally got like crates filled with components. I mean, look, all of this stuff is computer hardware. This whole container is filled with motherboards, RAM, and there's a couple power supplies thrown in. And then same thing with this, it's all computer stuff. I'm going to go through here and pull out a couple of radiators. Um, I got some new pumps in. Um, I think I got a new flow block in. I want to show you guys that. And some other things. I've been uh, working on this. Alright guys, so welcome back. Welcome back. So I got everything laid out um, because this is kind of a two-part show. First thing I want to show you is some of the new water cooling equipment that we have and then I want to show you guys how to clean your radiators but my rabbit won't leave me alone will you anyway check this out you guys are gonna like this I got a couple radiators up here right 360 rads I got two of them check it out there's one of them and then I have two 240 millimeter radiators all right, these are used. I have brand new ones coming for the upcoming build. I also have brand new water cooling hardware. Y'all gonna love this stuff. This is awesome, check this out. All right, these two boxes contain our new pumps. So let's see here, open it up. There's a pump, open it up. There's another pump, let's see here. Now the reason why I ordered these is because of the profile of them. Um, the reservoir will mesh right up to it with an adapter and then this will sit low and then of course it comes with a uh, anti-vibration pad that you put on the bottom plus it's also how you attach it. It looks like it has two ends in, well, no, not two out. No, yeah, two ins and two outs. And I got two of them. Because you know me, I like to go dual and I like to go with uniform. That's very important. It terminates. This is kind of interesting. I've never had a pump terminate to a PWM and to a Molex. But uh, if you ran it on Molex, it would just run at 100% wide open the whole time. If you ran it with the PWM, but I don't see enough leads going in there to control it. So I'm thinking that these pumps probably just run at 100% the whole time, which is fine with me. So we're going to move on to the next thing. I bought, I have a whole bunch of these, but I wanted some new ones. Y'all know me. Where's the one that I opened? Right here. These are really cool. See them? They're different looking but they add a nice look to it. So if we were to put one on this pump here, see, anyway, um, I had 20 of these and I needed four more. I needed 24 total. So I bought four more of these uh, for about 30 bucks a shot. Um, this, this just came in the mail. Ooh. Yes. It's our new flow. It's uh, five, so it has five different ins and out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No, it's only three. One, two, three. I got a hexagon or a stop sign style shape is because the reservoirs that we're going to use are also hexagon shape. And you guys have already seen those before. I've already shown you they're the bits powered um, hexagon acrylic block 34. But those are the type of reservoirs we're going to be running. So I want it to keep with the stop style sign look. All right, cool. Moving on, check this thing out, y'all. It's a GPU holder thing, but I bought it just because it looks cool. 
let me show you what I'm talking about. So you see how you have this like opening here? And I try to put this light bar to kind of fill it in, but check this thing out. Of course you would have to hide all the wiring and all that kind of good stuff, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. So yeah, that's what it does. It lights up. It's supposed to hold your GPU up in the air and stuff, but I got it for the lights. And it looks cool, right? It looks cool as can be. I also got this RGB thing that goes right here, and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. I bought this new thing. You see right here where your cables go? It's kind of like you have RGB, 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 and then right here where your cables are at, there's like this dark spot. Well, I bought this thing today, and what it does is this end plugs into the motherboard, and then this end plugs into your cable and then this will sit in your motherboard like that and it will provide like an RGB look so that area right there will have RGB in it. Isn't that cool? Alright so I bought the Primo Chill Rad Cleaner um, Dissolvent Solution. You mix it with uh, 32 ounces of water and you can use the solution over and over basically what I've done is I filled my radiators all the way to the top look there's like crap float on top of that one um, anyway what you do is you put this stuff in your radiator and it cleans the radiators it takes about an hour or so um, I accidentally fell asleep so they've been <laughs> like 10 hours so hopefully they're a lot cleaner. Um, you definitely want the micro channels to get cleaned out and stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna do once I'm done with these is I'm gonna run them in a bath of scalding hot water. So I'm gonna soak them in the scalding hot bath water and then after that I'm just gonna let them dry. Hopefully they work well. Um, I would recommend though that if you do use the radiator I would probably flush it real good. I mean, you want to definitely flush it out to ensure that, you know, you don't knock no crap loose because you don't want it coming loose in, you know, your loop. So I'm just gonna take a look at it. Well, look at all the white crap that's still in there. Well, shit. It didn't knock none of that crap loose. Look at all the stuff inside this radiator. Wow. Uh, well, it does say that you need to, like, flush it out and stuff. So maybe what it does is it just kind of knocks that stuff loose. I tell you what, guys. I hate to say it, but the best thing is that when you get done with a radiator out of one of your loops just throw it away or sell it don't reuse it there's so many issues that come with this and like I you know I've spent more money now on trying to keep them clean do this do that and it doesn't even look like it's worked so I don't know take it what you will well this is interesting I just poured out some of that stuff out of the radiator and it looks like a gel y'all see that Look, it's like a gel. Wow, that is weird. That came out of the radiator. What is this stuff? Dude, that's crazy, I've never seen that before. The next video that I plan on making uh, should be a lot of fun. It's going to be all of the new water cooling hardware that we bought for the new upcoming build. Um, you'll see some of this stuff again, of course, because most of this stuff is going to be used in the new build, but we do have quite a bit more parts coming that you guys have not seen. And some of it's kind of unique, like that RGB GPU bracket and 
you know, and some of this other stuff that I like to buy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like, subscribe if you're new. I always appreciate you guys and everything that y'all do for me. I really do. You guys are awesome. Y'all know how it is. Yep. Leave a like. Subscribe. Y'all be cool.